Okay, ladies and gentlemen, maybe this is audio recording is going to be definitely used as additional NKUltra proofs. I'm going to add to the list of proofs about the existence of MKUltra and it's when it comes to Ukraine actually uh, one of the strongest definitely proofs but the individual uh, actually his wife in this case uh, that gave me his proofs man speaks English he understands communicates in English if you want to uh, she uh, just definitely this is one of the strongest and to me most valuable uh, proof of MK ultra pertaining to Ukraine because this man was involved in MK ultra probably since 1996 and you're talking about the Poland straight participated in a Hunger Games, actually, this guy participated in MK Ultra. Maybe even before Hunger Games started, this was one of the first people who came right here to Slovenia. This guy already visited me in Slovenia, and maybe, maybe even in '97, in '98 for sure, and and also because he was the one who placed neighbor Donna Kolenz in place. This is the guy that would even use taser on me because psychiatrists, police had an idea that I would return to Slovenia, to Novo Mesto City much earlier than what I planned on. And for that matter, uh, they prepared here a setup beatings took place I was repeatedly brought to him he would use taser and so idea was that as soon as I would pop up here the memories would kick in and then you would have you know the stuff you read about in I'm not gonna say in obituaries but definitely in uh, in a section where crime and such is reported that's what Novo Mesto police anticipated, psychiatrists from Ljubljana, politicians from Ljubljana, that's exactly what they had in plan. And so when he appeared here in the city of the Novo Mesto as a MK Ultra staff member, maybe even in 97, and it was again Donny Collins who just loved to intrude in whatever company I would bring along from abroad people that would bring me over here a staff member that would escort me uh, then he would approach them and start friendly chat uh, to establish his authority with them uh, so that he could turn the situation also with them into abuse against me this guy rejected him uh, it didn't work with this Ukrainian man. Eventually, the altercation between the two commenced because he wouldn't comply with his demands for violence against me. And half, I must proudly say, bitten up my neighbor to degree that one was left with nothing other than to run for police assistance and make no mistake police quickly arrived with what is now director of Novo Mesto Police Janus Ogulin uh, previous police director Anton Olai uh, he was threatened he was threatened with not only departure from here but prohibition from ever even entering Slovenia and such but then again this was MK Ultra case and whatever pertains you know like they say whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas 
nobody could touch him i'm in fact demanding for this guy from slovenian government to award one with him and his children and his wife with slovenian citizenship for his extraordinary sacrifice pertaining to this case for his extraordinary sacrifice that Slovenes alone neglected when in fact should stand up for their fellow men they sided instead with enemies they sided instead with the Russians make no mistake <laughs> love the sirens make no mistake Slovenian government sure enough ensured that the news would get on a table of the KGB to Moscow that's why even more so I am demanding Slovenian citizenship for him for his wife for his children his life became questionable he received death threats ukrainian security kept tight eye on his for the sake of his life in his apartment building they have carefully monitored his whereabouts jobs whatever he was up to whatever he was doing so that accidentally he would not get executed it was vladimir putin personally who wanted him down it was vladimir putin personally who told me if you're gonna touch this guy if you're gonna interview this guy you alone are going to become our target that's how vladimir putin did this stuff he prohibited from he prohibited me from in his mind in his sick head from my having anything to do with ukrainian people he have must have forgotten that i'm not only slovenian citizen but also the citizen of the united states of america he is a sick he, vladimir putin is a sicko too much power no good for you bad for your mental health mr putin i demand from slovenian state to award this guy with a citizenship his children with a citizenship with a slovenian citizenship and his wife for exactly the reasons i have stated now let's go and i'm going to give you an audio recording so i can demonstrate you actually how i have identified one i have met one in the city of the novo mesto in front of the supernova shopping center when I went with my mother to Interspar. This is actually a very interesting trip because it was the, my mother that ran me to a different uh, uh, locations uh, throughout Novo Mesto and it was really really interesting when I approached right here to this location here and have chosen to actually park uh my car next to uh next to his car uh, and his car was interesting enough the car has uh the same registration as let's say uh Karlova city right registration plate in Karlovac I think it's KA Dugarasa Karlovac K this is actually quite essential for me to explain because 
Karlovac is a city in Croatia, not too far from the city of the Novo Mesto. Okay. Uh, and really, I was sure that this is a Croat plate, and so I parked next to him. I didn't even pay attention. And then, man, lady explained to me, no, this is actually from Kiev, from Ukraine. I look at, I look at the uh, plate again, registration plate, and I see Ukrainian flag on one. And so then I was really happy. That was really, really interesting. Kiev. Right here, Kiev. Kiev city. Ukraina, Ukraine. There you go. So, let's go. Uh, to the audio recording which says here two hours and 21 minutes boom there you go okay, Carlo, what's... Uh, this is Carlo So I step out of the car with the mom and I say hello, how are you? Uh, I say Karlovats, uh, and the lady tells me what, what, uh, what you mean? Uh, and I say you, you're from Karlovats, from Croatia, no? Uh, sorry, we do not understand English, please. Uh, I am sorry, I thought that you're from Karlovac. No, oh, Ukraine. Oh my god, no. Uh, so they tell me, no, we are from Ukraine. And I'm like, I'm completely confused. How is this now? Uh, Ukraine, uh, that that Kiev, you know, that, that doesn't come to me at all. But Karlovac, that's very close here to the city of the Novo Mesto. Just on the other side of Gorian, so oh, there you go. Oh, hello, hi. <laughs> Ukraina, very nice, welcome. Uh -huh. Welcome to Slovenia. <laughs> very you. nice, very nice. I was sure because you know, Ka -a, that's Karlovac in Croatia. It's ah. right there. That's another city, the neighbor city here. Ah. And on the other side of this, you know. Aha, from Ukraina, We have been in the Croatia. Aha. Today come from Croatia. You went for swimming a little bit, huh? A little bit. <laughs> nice, nice. And uh Ka I I A A this is uh Kiev. Ka -a is Capital Kiev. Ukraine. Ka? To, Ka this is Kiev and A A. Really Kiev. I would say even Canada. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> no, I didn't know the Kiev the Kiev is Ka. Uh, okay. A A and Ka Kiev this is Kiev on Kiev on I remember you, my friend. First you, I remember you, and then I remember her too. When you got married. When you got married. But this is long, long, long ago. Long ago. Now we have to figure out what I figure out. What I have to figure out. What yeah, yeah, the two of you, uh, I, I see that you have some babies, you have some children, but you have been already for a while together. Yeah. No, yeah, not for a long time. No? Uh, 
Wait, I will tell you for how long we have been together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 2003. 2003. 2003, that's 19 years. 19 years we have been together. 19 years. Yeah, of course she's gonna say no. And she's got babies to prove her, right? Younger. Oh, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you travel to the US to. No. No, not official. Not official. Not, not me, not the husband. No. Okay. Uh, let me explain something. I, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. He looked at her and he said to her he just signaled her like this because i made a tremendous mistake uh the thing is i spend a lot of time with this too and he told me if you're gonna say 2008 i'm gonna say maybe but if you're gonna go as far as something like this down because under mk ultra i insisted exactly what i stated right there uh, it's gonna be a no so that really 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 was my mistake when I went to 2003 that was wrong uh, but when I, I stayed to you 2008 I am not wrong even a millimeter I can say to you that in 2008 this lady was actually very s slender like completely normal uh totally very proportional with the weight very beautiful lady uh and actually i was the one who gave him okay for this matter i was the one who told him yes thumbs up yes indeed but uh she started to gain weight very very rapidly i have no idea this case of mine uh, I don't know how much you remember me. I myself gained weight and lost weight and uh, it was all kinds of stuff that went on. But this case of mine had a very bad psychological impact on people. And I think that it just happened so that when people saw this shit that people walk around drugged up and uh, all this hoopla hoopla, it was a very, very negative for her. I think that people have fallen in depression without even fucking realizing that they found themselves in depression. This is a really beautiful lady. I was actually the one interested in her. I need to accent this because then it developed into a completely different issue from this. Uh, issue because of which she got very, very upset with me because then I actually suggested him that, that, that he should just find himself another lady and stuff. And he deeply, deeply, deeply resented me this stuff. Very important issue. Oh. No, no. Never. We are together five years. Only five years. We are together five years. Yeah, okay. Three. Three. Uh, Already, if you would look at the children, that's not possible. Uh, what else do I remember? Uh, what else do I remember? I'm going to tell you in continuation. What else do I remember? Uh, it didn't come to me, but of course I remember absolutely everything. I remember her family too. She too, I think, used to live with the mother too. It was also her mother that was the number one that decided about her that was the number one. She too used to live with the mother only. Mm, what I'm trying to say, I think she had like two brothers. I have to yet learn about this, but I don't I cannot recall her father. That's important for me to say because later on I'm going to point out that the gentleman whom she got married with, therefore this friend of mine from Ukraine, he used to live alone with the mother in a tall apartment building, very quite high up, basically, I don't know, fifth floor or something like that. 
So that's also important for me to declare. When it comes to 2008, even further than what he possibly imagined that I recall the memories, I can tell you about that she used to live with the mother. Uh, they had a house on this village and she had, I think, about two brothers, okay? So I go really, really far with it because I remember her when she was slender. In 2008, when the two first met, this was a really, really slender, I, and I know it was 2008, you know what I mean? I, in this case, because this is a really beautiful lady, I know the difference even between 2008 and 2010. I was crazy about it. When I do this, then I know exactly the stuff I'm talking about. I don't make no mistake. What else? What else can I come up with? So far, I didn't point at all. I didn't get anything confirmed. They were in Croatia and they just passed through this place on their way to Ljubljana. When it comes to Ljubljana, in Ljubljana, the people, their friends from Ljubljana, they were here in this house too. They, they visited. This were a people that a lady, a female, I was crazy about. This is also a tall apartment building. The lady was blonde. What can I tell you? I can tell you about absolutely everything. I can tell you about the friends from Ljubljana too. Hey, it just, it doesn't come to me immediately. You know what I mean? But then you walk around and you think about it and then it comes to you. But, you know, in a way it's too late. In a way it's not too late. So. Thank you, bye. Well, so they tell me thank you, bye you have a nice day in that case and I, the only thing i do is i never insist i never push into anybody i just wish them a nice day in that case have a nice day have a good stay in slovenia you you were in poland right and but you know i'm determined i said i said to the male i said but but you were in poland you know in in very early like in 98, 99 and... I tell him, in 98, in 99, you already were in Poland. So now you're going to give me the first super powerful credit. Stuff like this. You, uh, you he don't know. speak English. Uh -huh. He says, the lady tells me he doesn't speak English. Why he tells me that he doesn't speak English is because I was not nice to her. And now he told me during MK Archer because you were not nice to her, uh, I am not going to even speak to you if she's going to be in a mode to talk to you at all. She's going to talk to you. If she will feel like she doesn't want to talk to you, she's not going to even talk to you. This is the way it was. So in 98, in 1990, you were in Poland. Oh. Okay. I'm on the translator. <laughs> can you can you ask him? Uh, yes, he was in Poland. Poland right? he was. She gives me a green light. Yes, he was in Poland. Well, this is extremely extremely generous because they told me they're not gonna even the two told me they're not gonna even admit me. She told me I'm not gonna even admit you that he was in Poland in '98, in '99. If you're gonna say like in 2002 something like that 2001 so this was like a super 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 generous stuff very very friendly strong friendly gesture to me it's in poland yeah yeah all yeah. ukrainians was in poland <laughs> and now a big part of ukraine is poland okay good no, good, no, good. Good luck. No, this is okay good. have a good day have a great trip be safe and thank you for stopping by. Okay. Have Thanks a good day. Really thank nice. you. Thank bye you bye. Bye.
And and one more thing I want to ask you, two things. But uh, the thing is that he is not from Kiev. You are from Kiev. No, I am not from Kiev. He is from Kiev. Oh. Okay, so I go very, very wrong, but you're going to give me a cre credit immediately for this one too. Because I say, hey, I remember one more thing. Two things I, I told the lady I remember. I remember that one, actually, I, I told her I remember that he is not from Kiev, that you are from Kiev. And the lady says, no, 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 no. She says, he is from Kiev, but I am not from Kiev. But you're going to give me this credit regardless of it. I pointed out that one of the two is not from Kiev and the other one is from Kiev. Kiev is a big ass city. So the chances that she or he would not be from Kiev, very slender, I would say. Very slender. If we look at the size of the Kiev city in Ukraine, this is a big ass city. This is not a small city. Here we are talking about. Kiev, we are talking about already how many people here? Probably. Ukrainian capital. Now we are talking already about almost 3 million people in year 2017 so chances that the two would not be from Kiev are actually slender slender chances this is you're going to give me another credit and those are really super credits to point out somebody was in Poland already in 98 now that's a one of a kind to point out to the couple that one of the two eventually is not from kiev that's a second shot that's a second credit you're gonna give me <laughs> okay 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 so i got that wrong and tell me something else and yeah in kiev uh, you live in an apartment building in, it's like on a yeah, I don't know, maybe on a fifth, it's quite high, like fifth floor. So you live inside of the Kiev, the two of you, the family with the children, you live quite high in Kiev, uh, kind of a high rise on a fifth floor apartment building. Apartment building. Yes, huh? She gives me a yes now there is no way you possibly could say no to me that we don't know each other from the past those are the three shots i gave and every one of these shots is green and if you look at the degree of exposure the risk i took when i pointed out those that's pretty damn crazy if you would not be certain about stating the issues like this come on that's extreme when you say 98, you go back all the way 24 years, no less. When you say one of the two is not from Kiev, well, that's a chance within the 3 million residents of Kiev. And when you point out that they live very high up in a high rise apartment building uh, on a fifth floor uh, or a bow, uh, then that's actually impossible to refute that we would know each other from the past. She, lady says, gives me a full confirmation. Indeed, she says, yes. And he used to live with the mother then, right? So I am correct. So I remember something. Come on, you can speak English now. So I go further and I tell which the lady gives me the next, the 40th, that he used to live alone with his mother. So there you have it. The lady says yes. In possible way for anybody to say that's, that I could come up with the stuff like this if we would know each other from the past. There you have it. He still would not speak English to me. Uh, but he did have his shiny uh, 
beautiful looking uh, sports shoes that fit him, uh, his style, his beard, his tall. A nice guy I like very much for the reasons I have stated. <laughs> have a good day. Thank you. Now we smile and we say to each other, have a nice day. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Now it's like this. Uh, this is basically where it all ends. I go inside of the store. I go about the purchase. We are shopping with mother inside of the store. Uh, I actually meet my mother outside of the store once we are done shopping. And I ask my mom, eventually I ask my mother, the family is still out there, and I eventually I ask my mother if she would actually host Ukrainian family with the children. Uh, I tell my mom, they give, eventually you can apply for subvention, uh, and the state gives you something so that they compensate for their stay, whatever. But the point here is that, that uh, I was more than willing to host them. That's the point. To me, I wouldn't mind to have them around My mother, however, is not interested in that feature. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, the quality of sound is terrible at this point. Okay, where are you going next? Where are you going? They're still there and they tell me they're gonna go to Ljubljana as next. Now I ask in the Russian language. Where are you going next? They tell me to Ljubljana. I ask if they have a job or whatever, and they tell, no, we have a friends over there. 
Dios sea, ajá, aquí en Mayo. Y vi este, no sé qué es que es el Zemsi. ¿Hay refugios? They have applied for the status for the refugee status. They are refugees, basically. The Ukrainian refugees. I have a number of people on the phone. I killed one from a guard. I was hoping I would get his number so in case I could possibly get something and help them out with life here in Slovenia with job or whatever possibly I could maybe come across and help them out I don't even know at this point how I would help them out uh, for me personally these people I would actually prefer them here because this is this is really like a friends you know in from my perspective Uh, he told me we are okay we have a friends they're gonna help us out uh, they are Slovenes from here from Slovenia and we go apart thank you goodbye goodbye that's all Kievan, Kievan, Ukraine. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Ukrainian family. I have completely pointed out, identified beyond any doubt. Uh, This man, however, did make a mistake, but it was not his mistake. Earlier, I had mentioned that the KGB got him on list of the people, literally to be wiped out. Vladimir Putin was writing a list. The lady especially was very nervous about this meeting. This is because of my political involvement was not desired meeting at all she did not want to have absolutely anything to do with the politic i have to tell you this and so this is a family man so he let everything in her hands even more so i understand this is the way it is this is the way it was and he became very nervous due to russian terrorism in ukraine uh, people that were involved in MK Ultra, 
got a special attention from Russia, uh, became harassed in Ukraine and in Poland by the KGBs. Uh, and so in sometimes 2005, he made a mistake in my eyes uh, when he figured out, actually he figured out in 2003 that they are really on his tail. Here in Slovenia, in this house, Russia basically owned this country politicians in Ljubljana when it comes to Pahor, Payon, Kuchan, Turk. And that's how they got information about him, about his whereabouts in Slovenia. And he began to insist me because of uh, bullshit here in Slovenia. They instilled in him that I am anti-Slavic person, all kinds of stupid shit that you possibly could not imagine. Uh, got me into a library in a Kiev uh, and there was also other people that were involved intellectuals over there in Kiev he started to research about the Slavic roots and this started to go intellectual uh, wanted to get uh, got into himself and all kinds of classes and started to educate himself on issues of Slavic people and in 2005 came up with a result on how he's going to help me out to understand more about the Slavic people, uh, about the Slavic Brotherhood and this and that. And once he started to talk to me about that kind of stuff inside of that library, the only thing that happens to me was my hair went, I think, like straight up like this, like, like, um, I don't know, like, like in the beavers some butt hat or something like this, like, whoop, like completely up like this, uh, like in a stew or something like that. I became red and pale, and then finally I completely exploded. And they tried to explode in my face, but I was more explosive, I think. And then eventually they gave up because the fuck I was listening since 1995 inside of the fucking room here inside of this house nothing other about then who is next to be killed and about the war progress in balkans uh, as a matter of fact war progress in balkans and the coming war on ukraine possibly even poland or maybe baltic states or whatever would be more convenient. Chechnya did became as next. And so going through the fucking wars, seeing this shit in front of my eyes, meeting people drugged up, that one day, like in Chechnya, they were free, then the next day they no longer were free, and then the next day they no longer were, uh, was a really a no-no. Because these people, evidently did not have no fucking idea about what's coming next for them in Ukraine. Uh, and I'm going to tell you this, they did not anticipate what took place afterwards, even upon the occupation of Crimea and Donetsk in 2014. Seriously, Ukrainians were completely... Um, not only have they given their nuclear arsenal to Russia, the Soviet arsenal that was in the possession of Ukraine, they gave one to the Russia, uh, but they were sure, actually they figure out, because of Slovenian here, politicians, that I am the one who is a trouble in this whole thing, that I am the one who doesn't get but nobody told these people in Ukraine, Ukrainian people, what the fuck went on inside of this house since 1995, inside of this house. Never mind whether I was brought to the Serbia, to the Serbian part of Bosnia on the front lines of war or forbid things for abuse. Uh, to Belarus and Russia, say really that doesn't make no 
but the hell that went on inside of this house where Putin moved inside. Sometimes even with a children, with wife. Always in the presence of Americans, international delegations, Germans, British, Americans, where they melted down economic uh, issues. If you like the new world order, the one you dream about, but the one that I witnessed, jerked up though, since 1995. So when you started to talk to me about that kind of stuff, uh, this is when I was, this is when I went completely insane. From that 2005 incident, uh, we had bad runarounds. Uh, eventually he had to quit because I didn't give in, not even one millimeter on my position, on my views, because it's impossible. These people in Ukraine did not even dream about what the hell was coming at them. For me, the war in Ukraine started in 1995 when I wanted and it didn't even sit well with Ukrainians, with some Ukrainians back then. For the Swedish Saab Gripen group to have to mutually begun commence manufacturing of fighter jets with Ukraine. Also because of the similar flags uh, and what I wanted was for the Ukrainian people to have ability to decide about their fate, the right to self-determination, which would not be based on a bloody Soviet past, fear, terrorism, to which I dare to stand up time and again and never, always will never will bend down in front of the terrorism, in front of the tactics that Vladimir Putin and his apparatchiks dare to chose over freedom in independent countries as he accomplished, let's say in Chechnya and in other parts of Russian Federation, as it's called. In probably 2000, I have no idea what the year was, God knows, 2015, because of this incident in Crimea, in Donetsk. Maybe, I don't know, maybe even 2017, this talk about anticipation about the coming war on Ukraine in the future became more and more realistic and seen in eyes of uh, Slovenian intelligence as well as unavoidable future catastrophe. And as I found myself during MK Ultra in Ukraine, it was this family that delivered me to the city of the Novo Mesto, on which opportunity they also expressed, the lady did, the desire if such conflict would develop which nobody really believed but it was the slovenian people who knew about this kind of stuff that went on inside of this house that they told them yeah but you know what about if it will develop still they didn't believe anybody that that actually something like this could happen and frankly i who have gone through all this shit since 1995, I, I myself was in disbelief till it actually happened. Because why I was in a disbelief, I don't know. Probably I was in a disbelief for a very, very irrational reasons, which included Americans writing about how a Putin is going to run over Europe with the tanks. To me, it was like <laughs> bullshit. To me, it sounded like, come on, 
uh, a little commercial EPP, as we say in Slovenia, economic propaganda program, uh, through which usually the allies, everybody else does in the world for that matter anyways, uh, you know, earn some business contract, maybe sell some plane and stuff like this, tank and stuff like that. Uh, except that I was wrong at it. It really, really, really did happen. And I did not have overviews such as American military that have ability to track the movement of this equipment throughout the Russia from the space and so on and stuff like this. They really knew what the hell goes on and what's coming next. Unfortunately, uh, Ukraine also didn't took this seriously enough. Uh, something that I had a tremendous difficulty to to cope with because I deemed that Crimea and Donetsk for whatever cost must remain part of Ukraine because this is simply Ukraine and these are actually the parts of Ukraine that are in my personal view non-negotiably uh, inseparable. Ukraine just as Americans insisted and I disbelieved them this is something like this could happen this is a footstep to Europe this is a Russian footstep to Europe this is actually uh, a boulder this is actually a European security boulder this is this is a bastion of Europeans because it's that border it's that buffer zone that protects us and Germany and Britain and Spain and Italy and everybody else from a total disaster just imagine yourself being people in Baltic states what exactly the hell that feels like when people don't know from just about at any time if Russian tanks are not gonna run them over situation so bad that NATO figure out is best since those are members of NATO and European Union that is best to not even hold fighter jets on the side of the Baltic states because they can just run you over with the tanks like they did you know thanks God Ukraine is big is a big side states but uh, Baltic states are like Slovenians small countries uh, that Russians would ran over and just like you know what can I tell you? This is the size of the territory that the Russians occupied. You know, that equals to four sizes of Belgium, basically. That's not fun. That's not, that's not a funny thing. Belgium is about, I think, maybe even, I'm not even sure what the size is. One and a half size of Slovenia, or maybe even, I don't even know. Maybe even three times bigger than Slovenia. I don't know. But that's a whole lot a lot of problem for European security, for European, for existence of European Union. Vladimir Putin stated me personally in case the war would implore, explode into a big war and he would be losing ground against West. Eventually, if he would have to, whatever would be left from Russia, he would join forces then with China and eventually would annex annex himself to china that much about vladimir putin and his plans that's all i have to say look ladies and gentlemen uh, i'm going to give you a date and time during the audio recording itself which i am going to repeat to you but you cannot say that i did not uh, manage to identify and point out one of the earliest people involved in MK Ultra. Still, I have failed to mention lady in 2015 or 2017 in case of war.
on Ukraine told me, uh, told my family that father and mother uh, and police and whatever the people were here, that in fact that she would choose this house here uh, as a place to stay if there would be a, such a thing that they would have to run out of their homes one day for their life. So I was the one at the time, I was very unpresentable at the time, who had, uh, did not understood what the fuck went on about this whole thing what the hell is happening i was bothered i was disturbed with this shit with this war i had enough of this whole thing uh and so i was the one who did not understood and i told them no yeah i have to tell exactly the way things are i was under mk ultra and people under mk ultra don't have overview over certain parts of reality you may have a strong instinct about other stuff that people don't know they're not aware of it and should in fact listen really closely what person have to tell but i did not know what the fuck what went on if i would know who was here what went on of course that i would not only for them if you ask me i would i would host even Ukrainian people that I don't know anything about other than they are Ukrainians in need of help. This is not even questionable. This isn't this offer didn't come because these people would be uh, somebody that I would know from the past, but this is just a matter of solidarity that Europeans, everybody should have with one another. This is just, you know, this the fuck can i tell you this this is this is a matter of life this is something that person definitely doesn't decide right when the tanks are running on your country when you find yourself in the middle of the war so what you don't have a choice over this whoever is that needs help protection assistance whatever it is you offer one and i have to say i'm grateful to germans to germany for offering extensive hand to ukraine I was a little bit harsh on you uh, and to others in Europe. I was a little bit harsh on you because all I wanted is, well, definitely the best for everybody, including Ukrainians, because in unity is a power, and it's called European unity. It's about trust me not only about ukrainian but your own security it's about for the sake of everyone that's all i had to say i have to say i have to tell exactly the way it was i went wrong uh, things happened back and forth and it came to me what i stated to you about this stuff once i reached home and once i started to uh Eventually that day, I bought bananas that were discounted. Uh, basically reduced for 50% cost in the stores. Inside of the store, I was thinking about that I should buy candies to the children or a chocolate or, and I was figuring out what the fuck you're gonna do, buy um, bananas a discounted price like this to give people like this it's, it's very very inappropriate i am also not in a financial position that i could go like this and do i don't know what and giving chocolates and giving stuff like this i purchased at interspar i must admit for myself for my own sake uh i don't know how these people would look at down on me whatever the issue would be uh this is just the way it is. That's all. I tell just exactly the way it was. Let's go. I'm going to play you entire audio recording once again. And that's my family from Ukraine. Which I will say thank you very much for coming. For giving me a very strong proof. 
Uh, definitely I'm looking forward to see you again the husband the wife I like very much the audio recording I'm gonna repeat one again to you thank you for watching this video till next time ladies and gentlemen Hi. This is Carlo, This is I am sorry. I told you you're from Carlo Watts. Oh, Ukraine. Oh, my God. No. Oh, hello. Hi. Ukraine. Very nice. Welcome. Welcome to Slovenia. Very nice. Very nice. I was sure because, you know, Ka-A, that's Carlo Watts. In Croatia, yes. Ah, right there. Ah. That's another city, the neighbor city here. Ah. On the other side of this, you know. Ah. Aha, aha, from Ukraine. Yeah, aha. Yes, uh, we nice. have been in Croatia. Aha. Today I come from Croatia. You went for swimming a little bit, huh? A little bit. Nice, nice. And, uh. Ka, I, I, a, a. This is uh, Kiev. Ka, a, is Capital Kiev. Ukraine. Ka? To, this is Kiev? And Kiev. Really, Kiev? Yeah. I would say even Canada. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't know. The Kiev, the Kiev is uh, okay. A -A 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 -N -K. Kiev. This is Kiev. Kiev. Maybe something like this. Kiev. Kiev. Why? Why? Ah. Uh, Say the number. K and A. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember you, my friend. First you, I remember you, and then I remember her too, when you got married, when you got married. But this is long, long, long ago, long ago. Now we have to figure out what I figure out, what I have to figure out. Yeah, yeah, the two of you, uh, I, I see that you have some babies. You have some children, but you have been already for a while together. Yeah. No. Yeah, not for a long time. No? Uh, wait, I will tell you for how long we have been together. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 2003. 2003, 2003 that's 19 years. 19 years we have been together. 19 years. Yeah, of course she's gonna say no, and she's got babies to prove they're right, younger. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And you travel to the U.S. to no, no, not official, not official. Not, not me, not the husband. No, no, no. never. We are together five years. Only five years, really, really. Uh, what else do I remember? Uh, what else? What else can I come up with?
Well, you have a nice day in that case. You you were in Poland, right? In in very early, like in. 98, 99 and stuff like this. You, uh, you, you don't know. speak English. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Yeah. I'm on the translator. <laughs> can you, can you ask him? Uh, yes, he was in Poland. Poland right? He was in Poland. Yeah. 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 All yeah. Ukrainians was in Poland <laughs> and now a big part of Ukraine is Poland. Okay, good. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. Have a good day. Have a great trip. Be safe. And thank you for stopping by. Okay. Have Thanks a good day. Really thank nice. you. Thank bye you bye. Later. Bye. And and one more thing I want to ask you. Two things. But. Uh, the thing is that he is not from Kiev, you are from Kiev. No, I am not from Kiev, he is from oh. <laughs> Okay, 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 so I got that wrong. And uh, tell me something else. And yeah, in Kiev, uh, you live in an apartment building. And it's like on a... Yeah, I don't know, maybe on a fifth, it's quite high, like fifth floor. Apartment building. Yes, huh? And he used to live with the mother then, right? So I am correct. So I remember something. Come on, you can speak English now. <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you.
Thank you very much for watching this video, till next time.